Let's play some limit orders in the S&P E-mini futures market for a size of one lot. Once you've placed orders, it is very easy to edit them directly on the bookmap chart. If you want to edit an order size, hover the mouse over the order text and left click. You can cancel the order or select a different size. Let's select five. Note that anytime you increase the order size, then your order is sent to the back of the queue and you will lose the original position. However, if you decrease the size, let's say to four, then the position in queue doesn't change. Let's also change the order size of this order to three. If you want to move an order, simply hover over the order text and left click hold and drag the order to another price level of your choice. Note how Bookmap records the move historically. Now let's move this order on top of this other order of size three. Note what happens. Now the size of the order at this price level is seven. We have a summary of orders with a total volume of seven, but in parentheses, it displays two separate orders, one for three and one for four. Let's drag it on top of this other order with size one. Now we have a volume of eight with three separate orders. You can easily move all eight by left clicking, holding, and dragging on the order summary. We can also click on the arrow for a more compact view to more easily move it around. Note if you hover over just left of the vertical white line, a small red line appears. If you left click hold and drag it, you can extend your orders out further to the left. If you wish to separate the orders again, click on the arrow to expand the order cluster, then left click hold and drag the order out. Or you can choose to drag it back in. Please note, each time you move an order, only that specific order loses its place in queue and goes to the end of the line. Now suppose you want to cancel a specific order. You can left click on it and then choose cancel. If you want to cancel all orders only at this price level, then left click on the order summary and choose cancel. This way you don't need to cancel all orders on the offer or bid from the trade control panel over here. Note that each time an order is edited or moved, you will see a small dot appear. Thus the entire history of our order activity is recorded on the bookmap chart. This is an excellent feature that allows you to review the evolution of your trade management history to better debrief your trading decisions. You can also use this in replay mode later if you choose to record it at startup in the run options window. All of these orders features and functionalities apply to all markets, futures, stocks, and cryptocurrencies.